Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Braden, Tim, Second Legacy, you're amazing. And today we have got a... We got to talk about Chris Murphy. No, I don't like to do it to you guys. I don't like to do it to Tim because I really have hard feelings about Chris Murphy because I just don't like I don't like his infringing habits. Hard it's feelings, huh? Hard I feelings. I didn't anticipate hard feelings. that. Let it lie. Okay. Let it lie. Let it lie. Yeah, that's true. Let that one walk. Um, <clears throat> I have bad feelings. Very, that makes much me better. feel safer for when you start talking. Um, Dirty thoughts. Bad feelings. So yeah, that's okay. what we're gonna talk about. Nope. No. 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 Nope. Just bad feelings. Um, because he went on CNN. So this actually brings me joy. I don't like him that much, but it does bring me joy that even CNN's getting on the, are you lying again face? <laughs> We're going to walk you through everything today. This is going to be something you guys are going to enjoy. There's there's time down there and room down there to leave some comments. Let us know what you think. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. And as always, sarcasm and humor in a two-way fashion, efficiently delivered for your enjoyment, deployed as of right now. Tim, there's two things that I don't like, CNN and Chris Murphy, and they're both in the same thing. Yeah. Hey, I, to your little lead-in, can I add that uh, the second legacy where we cook the beef before we melt the cheese? If you want, okay. I mean, it's. I mean, we sure. I, I'm sorry, the Chuck E. Cheeseburger dig. thing is never going to be old to me. That he is just getting so. He even deleted that post. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Let's yeah, go. for me that never really that never really hit for me. I, I mean, like literally, this was the limit of this was the level of my observation <laughs> on that. Oh, look, a moron. Anyway. Let's, I mean, that aliens. Was literally... they, tr they try to pretend. That, <clears throat> how many times has 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 a leftist politician posted a picture? Kamala Harris just recently did it, and it, where they Doing post a picture of them standing next to a grill, pretending like they're human, and and like they do regular normie things. When pretending, I, like I don't think I don't think human. Chuck E. Cheeseburger has ever had a meal that wasn't prepared by somebody else, and there he is standing out there as evidence of this with a raw meat sitting on a grill that probably isn't even on, with an unmelted piece of cheese on top. I don't and know. that's Those dominated the news cycle. Score marks. It's a beautiful yeah, thing. I, I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. It, I mean, it really did. It um, it went up all the way to the highest levels of national news. I'm like, <laughs> well, slow news day, huh, guys? Okay. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay. Back anyway, to whatever the heck it is we're talking about. Back back to Chris Murphy and Jake Tapper literally embarrassing him on, on live TV. You know, it doesn't happen often when CNN comes after lefties. But when they do, it's really funny to see their shock and awe. It really is. You know, hilarious. I have to comment. There have been an increasing number of random acts of journalism coming from CNN as of late. Yeah. You know, it, it's weird. It must be like they see the sense of tide turn. And, or and, and, you know, I was opposed to John Fetterman getting elected. And then it's that like the stroke one. just pushed the, the wokeness right out of his body and he's talking about it. Anyway, go ahead. That's exactly right. That's this exactly whole world's right. gone crazy, but I'm just it's, here for everything's it. Everything's upside yeah. down. I'm here. I'm here for it. Thank God we have a channel to analyze all of it and keep people centered in the two a madness. Well, uh, Dr. Slides, this is number seven. Let's hit it. You noted that uh, Biden had to has to campaign in addition to being leader of the free world. Let's talk about the campaign because Trump was in battleground Michigan uh, last night making a pitch to African-American voters. Polls show Biden trailing Trump in key battleground states and polling well behind your Senate colleagues who are running for reelection. Uh, look at this New York Times poll from last month. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin is up nine points in Wisconsin. Biden's only up two points. Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey up five in PA. Biden's down three. Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego running for Senate in Arizona up four. Biden down seven. Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen up two in Nevada. Biden's down 12. How can you look at this, these statistics, these numbers, and not conclude that Joe Biden is a drag on the ticket. <laughs> oh, that's not going to be the case. But look, look at the numbers. Well, that's one point. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's right there. Wow. Well, look at this. Don't believe your lies. Ah, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. They'll do that. That's crazy. But the thing that I love so much about that, and this is, this is such key stuff when you're going into an election, it wasn't just, well, Biden's down. Is it because he's old, decrepit, senile, or just not there? No, no, no. It's, um, your Democratic peers are doing well, but Biden's polling below them. Do you understand, Tim? Like, and I think you do. How bad that is? Yeah, politically, he is a drag on the ticket. I mean, that is so massive. You know, and this is so massive. And this is what I love. You know, like Harry Palm Sison. Well, he'll go out there and like, look, Biden's up in the polls. Oh my gosh! Wow, oh, breaking bear. news! Wow! And then when Trump's up in the polls, that's ah, fake news. I mean, nobody believes those yeah, polls anyway. News. No one likes polls anyways. They're <laughs> stupid. I do love me some hair bear. Yeah, good old uh, Harry Palmer's. Anyway. Man, he is not subtle. He's wow. He is not subtle. So, so yeah. Yeah. So 
one of my favorite things about this little political actor on, on X, and, and you might be able to notice this too. Um, so normally a political actor gets talking points and it's like, Hey, we're aiming for like, here's your brief. We're aiming for 18 to 29 year old demographic. We really want to get them engaged and drive up that activism or that action in that voter block. So what's Harry do? <laughs> Harry goes out on X and is like, if you're 18 to 29 and you're looking for something to do on November vote day, boy, do we have a solution for you? I'm like, Harry, I know. Harry you're not supposed to say the target demo. You're supposed <laughs> to make a message crafted towards them. Yeah. Well, he's just practicing for reading the teleprompter, like under the Joe Biden administration, you know, like applause, repeat last line. You know, that's what that's what he's doing. But legit, that's dude, all. do you know how like how embarrassing it is to be in this space and see this, and this person who thinks he's like God's gift to, you know, the youth vote doing this? Like, you're not supposed to say the key demos that you're <laughs> aiming at. Like, it's just so bad, dude. It, well, you know, so I fully cringe. expect. Harry Palmer Sison to eventually start, you know, wandering around aimlessly trying to make it look normal because you'll, you'll notice like when Biden wanders off stage and when Biden meanders right. about aimlessly, all the world leaders standing around him kind of take notice that you'll see him look at him. And then one of them will casually so walk bad. over and grab Biden by the arm and try to refocus him, you know, and, right. and, and, and everybody, I think on the, on the left side of the aisle is going to start doing that to try to normalize that odd behavior to normalize. Him. Yeah. You know, everyone sniff gets, some babies, really shower down. with your daughter, you know, <laughs> meander around the stage, Whoa. just do things Whoa. like that, you know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Well, it's, in, it's in her diary, you know, uh, Allegedly, Biden was just trying to do his part to keep his kids from growing up in a racial jungle. That's all. Oh, God, God, what he that's... said it. <laughs> I know he said it, but I... if we go on YouTube and start quoting Biden, we won't be on YouTube. But long. he's the president; guy's... he can say whatever he wants, and he says wildly racist exactly. stuff every day. Tim, do you not know Harry he's Palms. on the left? He can do that. No, no, that's the rule. If you're on the left, you're allowed to do it. If you're on the right or in the middle, you're verboten. Come on, you know the rules. You know how this works. All right, so to sum up, Harry Sison is dumb. We don't like him. He's not good at his job. Chris Murphy can't really squirm out of Biden under polling and representing uh, Senate candidates. So now allow me to introduce, before we actually bring you real facts and actually what we're really talking about, what Chris Murphy says is going to happen because – I mean, like, who doesn't see this happening in November? This is number eight. For your colleagues, I'm sure, but Biden is is under polling all of them. Well, that's one poll. I can also show you 60 other polls that show that Joe Biden is in the lead. There are plenty of polls in swing states that show that Joe Biden has a small lead. This is going to be a close race. There's no doubt about it. But what we have consistently seen is that Democrats are outperforming polls because we're seeing a surge of turnout, especially young people who are freaked out that Republicans led by Donald Trump are going to take away their right to reproductive health care, are going to destroy our democracy. I think this is going to be a close race, but I have no doubt that Joe Biden is going to win and he's going to lead Senate Democrats uh, to hold the majority before we go. <laughs> yeah. You, okay. Yeah. I mean, they just got a few it's ballot boxes hole. to stuff and they're there, you know, it's, it's listen, that Turkey, you've been talking about that Turkey for Thanksgiving a lot, the Turkey that you named ballot box, yeah, ballot box, the Turkey. I mean, a ballot box, the turkey, that where you're going to have all the stuffing. I know, I know, you're excited. You know, it's it's the turkey bump act. I'm stuffing my ballot box. Stuffing my ballot box, named turkey call it, call or turkey the named ballot box. Yep, we're just we're just That's bumping exactly some ballots right. into the turkey. <clears throat> this is getting Sometimes weird. Got to. So uh, you're the Chris, one talking. I'm just letting it go. So, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris Murphy <clears throat> is in denial. I I just sent over a text. Absolutely. And, and, and look, I, I just sent over a text. Uh, Doc, if you want to throw it in there, it's showing a real clear politics poll that came out this morning. I saw it go across my feed. Oh, is that from this morning? Yeah, it's showing the electoral map based on where we're at right now. And, and it said there are no swing states. Like every state, according to this poll, has been decided. And right now, Biden, right now Biden's at 226 electors and Trump's at 312. So the next question is, Chris Murphy, when are you going to like... When, when is Joe going to fall and break his hip or suddenly become <clears throat> ill and no longer be able to run for, for the uh, presidency? Because it well, seems like they're setting that stage, but they only have so long because certain states won't even allow their well, candidate right. on the ballot if the name isn't on the ballot before that date. Eh, they're running so out of time. Interesting, what's interesting about what you just – I mean, again, this is all polling and conjecture. This is not proven. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's polls, just, and polls are right. all over the place. You know, They're all over the place. 
But what's fascinating about what you just sent was West Virginia, that's not a surprise. We knew that was going red. Ohio went red last time. That's not a surprise. However, Scanson? the big surprises there, the big surprises on that polling map was Scanson, yep. like you said, Michigan, mm-hmm. Pennsylvania, <laughs> yeah. North Carolina, Georgia. I mean, that if that were to come to pass, like straight up Lord of the Rings style, that would be like... I, I mean, well, this is so. This is the electoral map their before midnight. After midnight, these numbers shift. Uh, they, they, oh, it they changes. Flip. Yeah, I see. Because Biden well, will find about eighty million votes map. around two o'clock in the morning. That's how this works. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Well, the uh, God, you're just on a mission to ban us. Like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> God just, Almighty, it me. did happen. It it, it mean, literally it's... happened. Okay, so there was a there was a random influx. Of things that they're just mail in ballots, excuse me, that were Not saying there's that were yeah, no, no tomfoolery, allegedly, allegedly questionable. Well, we kn- we know there was a huge influx of votes, they just counted mm. them out of order, you know, they, that's all. Well, Nothing nefarious. I, I see where you're going, yeah. Well, back in the pre Cinderella uh version of this, that's one heck of a map, but I have my own map actually. Oh, this is interesting. Well, let's look at your yeah. map, shall we? So, so you remember how, um, and it kind of coincides with the map you brought forward. What Chris just said, Biden's going to lead the Senate Democrats to hold the Senate. Now, (laughs) that's a really big deal that he said that. And the reason why is because this year's Senate map is actually extremely favorable to Republicans only because of the states that are up, right? Not because Republicans found this winning formula, genuinely, just because the states of which that are up for reelection happen to be trending towards Republicans and the Democrats have the potential to lose more seats that are sitting. That That is literally where they're at. They're at 51-49 in the Senate right now. The Democrats have a razor within my a majority. But the states that are in question here, and I've got this is number nine that I've got pulled up here. This is what you're looking at. So the states that you want to watch for are Montana, Ohio, and West Virginia. If those flip, they've lost the Senate. Him. I mean, like the Senate is gone. And Chris Murphy's over here saying he's going to lead us to hold the Senate. Uh, yeah. Even if Biden were to win, it's already looking like the Senate's going to be a hard ask. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's just propaganda. It point. is. And they've already lost two senators. They've switched to independents. Granted, they still caucus with the Democrats and all that stuff, but they have been sticking, uh, you know, wrenches into the works when the Democrats are trying to pass Correct. their their legislation. These two, we're they talking really about Manchin and Cinema, et cetera, et cetera. they're constantly you know, messing with the Democrats agenda, which is a good thing, you know, but um, yeah, I don't think they're going to hold on to much. There's a very thin majority in the mm-hmm. house, which I'm concerned about, but if we can just hold on to the Senate or get control of the Senate, that that'll <clears throat> stop all this nonsense. So the next four years, I really, will make, or a couple of I years. will make a prediction. I feel comfortable enough to make a, a prediction. You ready for yeah, it? Yeah, Let's do it. Tell me if you agree or disagree with it. I this. disagree. The, <clears throat> man, you say, what? let me talk first. Were you asked? That's rude. Oh, I got to I did. I did. But let me talk first. All right. You silly goose. House. I think the House is a toss up. I don't know if the Republicans or the Democrats are going to take it. I think it's 50 50 odds. I think the Senate's going Republicans and I think the White House is leaning Trump. That's what I think. Yeah, there's definitely a a toss salad in the House. Um, The Senate, maybe the White House. You never know. You it, just you just put an image in my brain that I did not. Oh, hate. never mind. That was the Senate where that happened. Never mind. That was the Senate. Um, God. In hell. <laughs> oh look, look, our 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 representatives are not serious folks. I'm not a serious guy. I know you think because the military arms <clears throat> channel, I'm serious. I'm the furthest thing from serious there is. <clears throat> but our politicians are not ball. serious. That's the problem. <laughs> God Almighty, toss salad. Get out of here. What? Get, I, that's like 800 red flags in this one video. Can you please? Hit I'm trying. I'm trying to break records here. We're trying to push the envelope. We're trying well, to get you, into the. Oh, well, you got a you got a box of envelopes over in the corner on this one. All right. So you had this other thing, number ten. Are we going to talk about that? Or are we done here? No, it's the same thing because I can't. I don't know. I, I guess the pretty much the same thing. It's a retread of the same information. I don't think we need it. Okay. Well, anyway, it's going to be an interesting election cycle, no matter how you slice it, because it is it is a close race, which I think is kind of funny because you have. All the leftists out there saying, 
Trump's a felon. Trump's a felon. Trump's a felon. And they have done everything they can. I mean, literally the guy, the day the guy came down the escalator and announced his candidacy in 2016, they have been trying mm-hmm. to impeach him and they continuously impeached him through his entire presidency. And then when he announces he wants to run for president again, then they start dragging him through the courts and still gotcha. they can't beat this guy in the polls. It's really funny. That's more of a statement to Joe Biden mm-hmm. and the Democrats mm-hmm. than it is to Trump and all the craziness that they've brought about there. So anyway, it's going to be an interesting election cycle. I'm looking forward to the heads exploding. If things kind of play out the way that I kind of hope they do, let us know what you think in the comments down below. (laughs) Thanks for watching, folks. We'll talk to you soon.